think I'm more proponent of reactive deloading typically rather than proactive. So the, the main advantage of a reactive deload over what's called a, or a proactive deload, most people don't call it that, but it is. If you, for example, just take a week off or you take a week um, where you, you train very lightly, you cut the volume in half or the weights in half, those are typical approaches. The, the downsides of that is that, A, you never know for sure when you need to deload. So I think a lot of people deload too much. And for example, one week off every four weeks or every three, three weeks on one week off, that is a lot of deload. That's 20, 25% of your time that you're not trading. So that's a lot. You know, even if we're, we're saying, I can just create a program so that you can keep trading and we assume that your gains are linear over time, you can get 25% more gains just from skipping the deloads. So that, that is very significant. And then B, even if you do need a deload, you probably don't need one for the whole body. For example, if you, you're prone to overusing your elbows, as I am, then that doesn't mean you should deload your hips. Because, for example, for me, my hips never have issues. So, and many people have that. Everyone has some, some weaker joints and some stronger joints, and they're typically fine with banging on uh, volume just pretty much nonstop for very long periods, uh, indefinitely in many cases. They never have issues with certain joints, so injury-wise they don't need it. And certain muscle groups also, uh, like the glutes, there are many women who train their glutes every single session, never have any issues with it. Glutes in general seem to tolerate it pretty well. So, you know, when you're deloading your, your knees or your quads, maybe the, the glutes don't need it. And that is a, the big difference. So combine the, the two main benefits of being able to deload only specific body parts or muscle groups or exercises and deloading when you feel you really need it, like when your performance shows it's starting to decline or it's not increasing as expected, then you could do a reactive deload and just skip that exercise or skip the volume for that muscle group or body part, I think it's much more targeted than you know, the blanket week off.